the fuck is going on, you good motherfuckers? Welcome back once again to the Crispy Cack Attack. I'm fucking crispy. I'm fucking cack What are we doing? Well, today we're going to be uh, doing something a bit special. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so today we're going to be listening to the new <laughs> single from a fucking old school ass brutal death metal band called Deeds of Flesh. Oh, I was yeah. a, a fucking big fan of these boys back in the day, back in uh, their, their last studio album, Portals to Canaan, 2013. I remember I got into that album pretty fucking hard. Bit of a legendary band on the scene, eh? Very legendary band, dude. Mm. Eric and the boys are uh, R.I.P. Fucking, yeah, they've definitely done a lot for the fucking scene. Also starting up their own label and unique leader Fucking records, we need to be records. like our favorite. Everybody knows label. fucking unique leader records. Yeah, man, because they've been <laughs> hitting it out of the park all fucking year with absolute fucking banger releases. This is the first thing they've done in quite a long time. It's also the first thing they've ever released without a uh, founding member, vocalist, and guitarist Eric Lindman mm. on uh, uh, on the front. So mm. yeah, very interested to see how things turn. They brought an old dude back from the fold, uh, uh, Jacoby. I can't remember his last name. I believe that's his name. He used to be their bassist, and now he's back on vocals. I think. Did he, he come back? I thought, uh, yeah, I, did, I thought he saw. I he... think he was either the vocals or bass for like a, <laughs> an era. Left the band and has yeah come back in. I'm okay. pretty sure that's what we saw. I, I oh. could be I could be wrong. We did a bit of we did have to kind of skim the bio. Oh, sure. It's been a long fucking time since I've listened to these boys. Mm. 2013 new... was their last release. Yeah, fucking um, portals to Kanan. Absolute man. knee slap. It's well. slap, dude. It absolutely fucking. Today slapped. we have fucking. Uh, they have two new tracks actually from Alien Scourge. Yeah. Is it called? Oh, and uh, yeah. Alien Scourge nucleus. and Nucleus. We're gonna be tr- smashing yeah, Nucleus right. today, mm. and uh, yeah, I'm really keen because it's been nearly a fucking decade, man. I haven't listened to these boys in a long fucking time. Mm. Oh, this track featuring John Gallagher as well. Who's, where's John Gallagher from? Dude, ah, uh, fuck, wasn't he? Um, oh man, now I can't remember the fucking name. Um, oh, really? he's the boy from fuck. Oh god, damn it, man. Um, Don't feed us. Yes, thank you, Seriously? thank you. Yeah, yeah. The boy himself with the fucking, with the brutal low breeze and it, nasty gurglies. Okay. Yeah. It didn't actually pop up anywhere. I'm, I'm literally just... I'm fairly certain that John... Swing. No, I'm fairly certain that John Gallagher's from Dying Feet. Okay, man. cool. I'm fairly certain. Sweet. Yeah, I could be talking out of my own ass, but I'm pretty sure. Right. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise yeah. me. Dude, so yeah, that's a, that's a hell of a fucking team up. So yeah, I'm let's have a fucking Sasinski of this shit. Listen to some... Uh, that's deep some pleasure. Ten, Listen to it in nearly fucking ten years, man. Yeah, but damn. Just to see if their styles changed at all after all. The artwork is fucking sick. Hey, dude, dude, it's 10 out of 10. Our artwork's on point. Oh, 
They really haven't let anything set them back then, fucking have they? No. I mean, after the dark. There was definitely season. flares of like, there was like, um, you know, you could you could tell that it was Deeds of Flesh as well. So mm, it was absolutely. Just, it was really cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. I did expect it to be a little bit left to field because, because Eric's not fucking in the gang anymore. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. no, that's um, it's really cool. And I'm kind of like, I'm curious as to how they managed to still stick to. Yeah, but I mean, man, they, uh, what, they did fucking I'm eight studio sure, albums right. back in the day, so. I mean, they would have had to, the, the boys should have known their shit by then. They would have yeah. known how to construct this sort of stuff with or without Eric, you'd yeah. think. Um, I, th- I honestly think that that uh, paves things forward. John Gallagher's presence on that was was very welcome as well. And yeah, that was a very sick. cool little... <laughs> sick. Um, production was a really cool uh, you know, way of kind of hearing a more modern interpretation of the Deeds of Flesh sound. Yeah. They still kept some of that old school Deeds. They had some old school Deeds of Flesh riffs in there, but again, you know, it spruced it up a little bit, a little mm-hmm. modern stuff. I mm-hmm. like that the production wasn't, you know, super fucking, uh, what's the way? It wasn't super clean. It mm-hmm. wasn't, uh, you know, it still had a nice organic feel. It definitely Kind of did. still reminded me of those older days of death metal where really the did, mix right? was a lot more stripped down. There weren't really any bells and whistles to, to speak of, but still mm. very fucking punchy, very tight. Mm. Um, fuck yeah, dude. That kicked ass. That they're just, pro- they're just the proving that death metal is just not gone anyway. Hey, it's not fucking not gone anyway, anyway yeah, It's not yeah. regressed yeah. in yeah. even a fucking mirror. You will die right? before death metal does. <laughs> 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 what did you cunts think of this fucking banger? It's really cool to see the boys and deeds of flesh back in the fucking game after all these years. Fuck. Fuck, fucking let us know. Like and subscribe, all that fucking good shit. And uh, I suppose we'll see you on the next one. Fuck yeah.